Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kubra, also known as It's Miss K. In today's video, I'm going to be doing part two of my Q1 wrap up. So make sure you tune in and see how much I was able to save in a span of three months, all right? Let's go. So this is my mountain of bills. And the way I'm going to do this is simple. I'm simply going to arrange these bills in their denomination and then calculate how much they are, all right? So, this is what we're looking at, y'all. This right here, I feel like I could walk into, I was going to say Tesla, but no, I can't walk into Tesla and get me a car with this. I could probably walk into LV and get me a few things with this. But Tesla, we're aiming for you, Tesla, we're aiming for you. Anyways, let's go ahead and organize these bills. So, knowing me, I'm probably not going to fast forward this because I love the sound of money so i'm going to let you guys enjoy it okay i already know there's going to be a lot of five dollar bills because of the five dollar challenge so but my challenge here is to ensure that these bills are straight because there has been a lot of bending so let's see uh how shape there they can end up right if you watch my first savings challenge update i think i had saved two thousand dollars two thousand maybe five hundred i'm not too sure or two thousand four hundred it could be i'm not too sure but at that time i felt like that pile of money was a lot and i can tell you right now it's probably going to surpass it this time for a fact because I added an extra challenge and I've been adding extra money here and there. So let's just see. You guys give me a quick um guess. How much you guys how much you guys think I have saved? Three months. Okay, three months and in the span of six months I saved a little bit over two thousand. Actually not a little bit, I saved two thousand let's just say twenty three hundred to be safe, okay? Because I don't remember the exact number. So give me a guess down below. Pause it. If you're still here, pause this video and give me a guess. Give me a guess, y'all. Give me a guess. Okay. All right. So I think we're done for the $5 bills for now. Let me go ahead and do the $10 bills. You know what? A lot of people always tell me how they're surprised that there are still people dealing with cash. But there is. I don't know why it's so surprising for some. Maybe because we're living in a in a time where everything's so digital. But I'm not gonna lie. I love I love dealing with cash. I love paying with cash more than card. Okay, card I don't even trust it anymore. I'm the type of person I get like anxious when I like I can't find my card because I got tapped. I don't even know why my limit is probably hundred dollars, but. I feel like with the technology and everything being so digital, it's so easy to kind of like have no control of your own finances sometimes. Yo, I'm so tired. My eyes are puffy. Okay, so I look and underestimated how long this was going to take me. But let's see. Let's see. I need a second pile. You know what this reminds me of? I don't even know if I want to say it, but this reminds me of a specific niche on the YouTube channel. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, okay? <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about it, but if you know, you know. Niche or program, I don't even know how to call it. Segment, maybe, of the YouTube world. Okay. All right, so I'm sure there's more underneath. Oh, all right. Let's just do this quickly. And you know what? Like, I can feel these nails hanging on for bare life because I take off my nails as soon as I'm done filming, right? So taking them off, putting them back on, definitely kind of washes off the quality. Not the quality, but how long they can stay for, which is perfect for me because... I just need them for a few minutes and then I'm done. I love nails. I love how girly makes me look and stuff. But 
I, I just can't, sis. I cannot. I feel like I'm more practical without them anyways. Alright, so 2020, we're racking up our 20s real quick. Maybe I should give myself a um, a number that I think I saved. I'm going to save 5,000. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to save 5,000. Let's see how much I actually have saved up. But I'm going to save 5,000, Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am. I'm going to save 5K. So we shall see. You know what? I don't know where you guys live, but here in my province, Alberta, um, new restrictions have been imposed, which means the gyms are closed again. Okay, the gyms are closed again. Everything is on lockdown again. So, whew, why am I out of breath? Um, everything's closed down again, which is annoying. I'm not going to lie, it's very annoying because... Having these gyms opening up and closing down, like, how do you expect people to stay consistent? Not only that, I mean, people do work out at home, but, like, I don't like starting something and not be able to continuously do it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know how it comes. I don't understand why cases here are rising. I mean, actually, I don't understand because I don't know, like, Canadians are, are stubborn. Like, I, I see people out there, okay, I see people out there and they're not even wearing no mask, no face mask, nothing. They're going to a bunch of gatherings, you know, so I'm not surprised. And I know Ontario is, listen, Ontario probably has it worse than us. They went into lockdown, I believe, maybe a week ago now. It must be hard. Like, honestly, it, it must be very hard for small business owners because all this back and forth is, is hard. It's very hard. Like, everybody just wants to... Go back to their daily normal routines, you know. But I pray that this Panasonic, <laughs> I don't know if it's true, yeah, but apparently when you mention the Panasonic or its original term on YouTube, you can get demonetized. I mean, I'm not even monetized yet, but <laughs> listen, you never know. This video could be it, you know. See, this photo is giving me a problem. Give me some trouble. Okay, boom. My stacks don't look pretty right now, but trust me, it's gonna look pretty once I count them. Okay. Um, boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to do this quickly, but my nails be acting weird. I don't want them falling off midway to me filming because I don't got time to put them back on. So I hope you have time today to watch me and this uh, probably long video. But while I'm counting and putting the other bills away or stacking them up, I just want to say, you know, when it comes to saving up, I feel like a lot of people have this misconception that saving up or that people that save are financially deprived. And you know what? All these misconceptions, y'all, I'd be looking at them and I'd be studying them and I'm like, you know what? People who know where the money is going, that's the beginning of success right there. Because are you going to tell me that someone that has or that's running a million or even billion dollar company does not know where the money is going? Matter of fact, the more you make, the more you're going to be diligent in making sure that you know where your money is going. You know, listen, like, just do what works for you. Of course, to each their own, but I am a huge advocate of putting money aside, you know, for whatever occasion or plan. That way, whenever you're ready, the money's there waiting for you. And I'm not gonna lie, like saving has helped me tremendously because like now I'm like, okay, everything's planned for. And that makes me very, very comfortable. This $1,000 clip is gonna be left right here. We just have this left guys, just this. So let's just put the 50s together. Boom, and the hundreds. Uh, just a few the hundreds are all from the 10k sing challenge so we're coming to an end oh my god and then the most exciting part counting it counting it y'all okay so boom we're done are you guys ready to see that stack up though because i know i am all right so first you already know that mountain and five dollar bills 
Wait, 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 wait. Why does seeing this paddle bill make me so happy? It makes me so happy. You know what? It's crazy because among all of this, most of this $5 comes from my $5 saving challenge, okay? So that's my $5 stack right here. Let's organize the $10 stack. We see you too. We see you $10. We see you. Okay. This is organized. Boom. Let's put here the middle so you guys can see. I know counting this is going to be hard because... If you don't know Canadian okay, money, everything just sticks together and it just slips, you know? $20. This is what our $20 stack looks like at the moment. $50. Okay, 50 We see you. So $50, this is what our $50 stack looks like. You know what? Every stack is a beautiful stack. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. $100, you can on the thinner side, but you know, you got value. <laughs> so this is what our $100 stack looks like, okay? And of course, that thousand. So this is what I'm going to do. Now that I have all the stacks together, okay? Um, This $1,000 slip, I'm going to put it here for now. And I'm going to take out my handy dandy notebook and i can start calculating we can start from the biggest denomination which is our hundred dollar bill and go from there so hundred dollar bill and then my fifty dollar bills see how much i have twenty dollar bills ten dollar bills and then last but not least our five dollar bill and i almost forgot our thousand dollars i'm just going to put it at the bottom right here we already know we only have one, so let's just put one right here. Okay, boom. Let me start with the smallest quantity first. So $100 or the $100 bills. We have, oh, see, it's already sticking. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So $900 bills. So $900 bills. So I have nine. Okay, moving on. I'm going to leave this right here. Next, we have the $50 bills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So twenty-three fifty dollar bills. Alright. Twenty-three. Next, our $20 bills. Let's count it up. I'm going to divide this stack of 20s in two. That way it's just easier for me to count it. Okay. So let's see. First, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So 28 is our first one. So let me just put the numbers here. That way I'm not forgetting. Next, we're going to see how much this one is. All right, so second stack, here we come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Woo! 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. All right, 31. 31 for our second stack. So let me add this up. Plus 31. Moving on to our $10 bills, I'm going to do the same by splitting it up. We okay. Let's do half these. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, so 34 is our first count. So like this, upside down. So 34 tens for our first um, stack. Right, so let's go ahead and count this stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Perfect. So 28 is how much we have on this one. So it's 28. All right. Last but not least, we got our $5 bills. Let's see how many $5 bills is in the house. Okay. So let me start with... Mm, can we do halfsies? Let's do halfsies. Come on, you got this. This is a thin half. So let me do this one quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. All right, first stack is thirty-five fives. Okay. Ooh, y'all see this mountain? Like I said, this is the type of calories I'm trying to eat. So 35, fives. So first one, let me go and do the last one. Hopefully it's the last one. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is funny, y'all. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! Got this. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. I gotta put this down. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. 50. This stack right here is $55 bills. Are y'all ready for the ultimate calculation? Is calculation a thing in English? Because I know it's a thing in French, calculation, but is calculation a thing? I think calculation is a thing. I think in French, and then I speak in English, so sometimes my, my words are like not even English words, <laughs> they're French words to be honest. Plus 50. All right, y'all ready for the ultimate count? I'm gonna go ahead and do the count, y'all, the total, okay? Hopefully, I did not mess up. So, $900, that's not $100. Uh, 23 50s, listen, sis, I got my hand in dandy calculator. I'm not even gonna try and do all that. So, 50 times 23, that's 1,150. So, Let's go 1,150, okay? And then for the 20s, we had the first stack, which was 28 bills. The second one had 31 bills. So we have 59 bills in total. And that should give us nine bills times 20. That gives us $1,180. So $1,180 for $20 bills, okay? Um... Then we had 34 plus 28, so 62 $10 bills, which is $620. Okay, so that's easy, $620. Last but not least, we had 85 $5 bills. Okay, so 85 $5 bills, that is 425. 425, all right? And don't forget we had that $1,000 um replacement slip right right here you can join the family oh if you can stick there okay so thousand dollars 
So let me go ahead and do the ultimate. Are you guys ready for the ultimate, ultimate total? All right. So we have $900. Okay. Plus 1150. You still got time to put in your guest number right now. Okay. You can pause this. Guess how much I've saved. So 900 plus 1150 plus 1180 plus 620 plus 425 plus a thousand are you guys ready why am i so nervous i guess i just want to make sure i met my goal or surpass it i don't know we'll see i said 5k i said 5k right okay let's see Ooh, girl. <laughs> i'm gonna have to keep up so $5,275, not bad for three months in for a newbie. So let's do a total of $5,275. All right, so let me put an emphasis on the fact that I've done this for three months only, three months, and I've been able to save this much. If you're contemplating or you're if you're about doing the cash envelope system, don't think any further and just do it because these numbers speak for themselves. I'm so grateful. Alhamdulillah, I am super proud of myself. And I didn't think I would be able to save this much in a span of three months, to be honest. There you go. This is what almost because we got this one key right here. But this is what five thousand. 275 looks like in Canadian currency. Y'all see how thick she is. Y'all see how thick she is though. All right, y'all. So this is this is the Canadian money. So this is it. This is it. Alhamdulillah, I was able to save five thousand dollars. So when people be walking around with stacks, say, this is how it feels. Y'all be walking around with stacks more than these stacks too. And y'all be walking around with like, sheesh, how much y'all be walking around with then? All right, y'all, this is it. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I am grateful to you. And listen, just, oh, I am baffled. I am amazed and I am so proud. I think, you know, I'm the type of person that I'm very hard on myself and I don't give myself enough credit. So Kubu, you did this and I'm so proud of you and this is just the beginning. I got three more quarters to go, so we'll see how that goes in it. And I'm thinking, you know what, how much did I save in savings versus how much I saved in sinking funds? I can do this calculation real quick, might as well, to be honest. I'm gonna put this here, this one case is annoying. I updated my savings challenges tracker let's see quick note you guys already know my savings box because you know we don't really take account the change but i was able to save a total of 43 dollars in change for q1 i mean that's something isn't it so that's it for the coin challenge let me go ahead and add up the rest because i only add up um the bills you know i might add up the coins at the end of the year but we shall see so five dollar challenge 155 okay um plus the 52 week challenge 660 okay boom plus the 2021 cash and challenge 495 plus the 10k challenge 2310 so Three thousand six hundred and twenty dollars is my savings from that five thousand two hundred and seventy-five. That's not bad, right? So thirty-six twenty. So if I do five thousand two hundred and seventy-five minus thirty-six twenty, that means I was able to save one thousand six hundred and fifty-five in my sinking funds. Wow! I'm actually so happy. I didn't think I had saved that much in my sinking funds, to be honest. So here, here we go. That's how much we have, y'all. That's how much we have. I am so grateful to God because there is no way I would have been able to 
saved this much and be this disciplined if he had not allowed me to do so and guided me throughout this whole process by giving me discipline, perseverance, dedication, and allowing me to stay focused in my vision. All right, so that's it, y'all. Now, let me see if I can do a cash swap or bill swap for some of these savings or sinking funds categories, but yeah, this is me wrapping it up. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for always taking the time out of your day to watch my video. It makes me so happy and it humbles me a lot. And oh yeah, thank you so much for all the love on my recent video, um, my budgeting video. A lot of you guys actually reached out to me for the tracker and that makes me very happy, you know. That being said, I will catch you in my next video, which is probably going to be either my weekly savings challenge either a cash stuffing, all right we shall see until then i'll catch you in my next video as always stay blessed peace and love bye